What is up you guys? Welcome to today's video. It's your girl Lax Me and I am back with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lax Me. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you boot are already part of the excited squad just by clicking on this video. As you have seen on the title of this video today, I'm going to show you guys how I normally curl my hair with a flat iron. A lot of people have been asking me, how do I do that? Because my curls end up always looking really, really nice. Um, mainly it's the people whose hair I do. Um, I don't do hair professionally, but I am very good at doing hair. So I like to do my friend's hair all the time. And they are always like, how, how, how are you achieving these beautiful curls? without using a wand or a curling iron. I honestly feel like doing it with a flat iron makes the curls last a lot longer. So yes, today we are going to learn how to do that. So if you guys are interested in watching and learning how I curl my hair with a flat iron, stay tuned. All right, so to begin, what I like to do, the number one tip that I'm gonna give you guys so your hair looks the nicest when you guys do this style, and you guys are gonna hate this, but this is just the way the cookie crumbles. The number one tip is to have dirty hair. Now my hair is not filthy, but it's already greasy because I've had it straightened. I washed my hair three days ago, four days ago, four days ago. So this is four day old hair. So my oils are already seeping through. They're just doing the most. My hair is flat and dull. That's why, you know, when I'm not ready to wash my hair yet because my hair doesn't smell bad and it's not dirty, you know, dirty. I like to go ahead and refresh it with some curls, give it some volume, give it some blah blah boom. Nah, shane, nah, shane. So yes. Yeah, so the first thing that you want to make sure is that you have, you know, a few days old hair. If it's fresh, yes, the curls will take, but it's just not gonna look as nice. I don't understand. I don't know why, but it's just not gonna look as nice. So yeah, so my hair, as you can see, is very, you know, dull, very oily and whatnot. So now to help with the oily hair, I like to go in with my favorite dry shampoo. Um, I honestly recommend this to everybody. This is one of the best dry shampoos I have ever tried. And the thing that I like about this dry shampoo the most is that it doesn't leave that disgusting smell afterwards. I know you know what I'm talking about. I know you know exactly what smell I'm talking about. It is this weird smell that sm it smells like a fish factory. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't get it, but it don't smell nice. And listen, boo, you better get it right, get it tight with me because I don't got time for that nonsense. So yes, um, this is the Dove Care Between Washes Dry Shampoo. And this one is the one that is for detox and purifying. Um, and I honestly love it. It has such a very light fragrance, so it doesn't really smell like much. It just smells like, like, I don't know, it smells refreshed. It smells like fresh. So yes, so what I like to do is you have to shake it very, very well, you know, shake it like a Polaroid picture. And then you're gonna go ahead and with your fingers, you're gonna go in and try to hit the roots. I'm using you guys as a mirror. But yeah, you wanna go in in the roots cause you don't want the hair to look super, like super, you know, flat and dull and whatnot. And you wanna kind of bring it back to life. So you're gonna do that. So let's just go ahead and proceed. So what I like to do first is, and I'm sorry you guys if I'm all over the place, this is like my first like sort of like hair tutorial, so just bear with me. What I like to do is I like to go with my thumbs and I like to part my hair like this. And I'm gonna part a section in the back. So this is what we're gonna do. So I like to part this in two sections, you know, try to make it even, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but here we go. You're gonna go in with a paddle brush just to make sure you don't have any knots in the hair. You're gonna go ahead and detangle your hair, make sure it's nice and smooth. And now, I'm gonna show you guys two different methods, okay? Um, the first one will give you really nice tight curls and the other one is gonna give you like looser waves. So if you wanna have really nice tight curls and compromise your length, you can go for the option that I'm gonna do on this side, just on this section, cause I'm gonna just do one simple style. And then if you want the nice looser waves and just have some more length with your curls, you're gonna do it the way I'm gonna do it on this side. And I'm gonna just take some more hair cause it's not evenly distributed. There we go, somewhat, whatever. Anyway. My favorite flat iron of all times has to be this one right here. And this one is the Infinity Pro by Conair. I believe I paid like 20 bucks for this flat iron and I bought it at Walgreens. And I have had it for about 
four years now and it is the best thing ever it's super nice super sleek it heats up very very well i think it goes up to 410 I'm not sure, but you can change the, the, the heating settings or whatever. I put it to the highest just because it makes the curl be like a lot tighter and last longer. Now, I do this pretty quickly because I don't want my hair to be, you know, in the flyer for too long. Because then again, you guys know that I rock my curls. So yes, we're going to go ahead and do this. If you want to go ahead and apply uh, heat protectant, you can. I uh, did a boo-boo and I applied the heat protecting before I started this video and I don't know where I put the bottle now. So, but the one that I use is the one by Tresemme. It's the red and red and black bottle. It's like a little spritz type of heat protectant. So if I can find a picture, I'll put a picture here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yes, so this is how you do if you wanna have the looser waves. What you'll do is you'll go in and you're not gonna go in from the very, very top, okay? You're gonna go in like from the, you know, not not the middle, but sort of the middle section. You're gonna do this. So you're gonna start and you're gonna do one turn and you're gonna go down. As you guys can see. So you have like a looser curl and it's not super tight. If you do wanna make this curl like last a little longer, you can hold it up until it gets cool and then you can let it go. But here you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, if you want the legit tight curl, I'm gonna show you guys only in this section because I don't wanna have the really tight curls. But I'm gonna show you guys in this section how to do it. And I don't always curl them in the same direction just because I like my curls to just be, you know, doing their own thing. So yes, this one I'm gonna hold here and you're gonna hold it like this, but you're gonna do a full turn like that and then you're gonna bring it down as you can see here. And then you see the difference, the massive difference between curls. So this one is a super tight curl. This one is a nice and loose one. What I like to do to this curl is grab a white tooth comb like this and then just do one rake just so it has like a nice flowy vibe, man, But I'll show you guys that at the end of the video. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Um, now, I will tell you, if you want to do a middle part or a side part, make sure that you do your part before you start the process, just so you know where your hair is going to go. Because I've made the mistake of just having all my hair pulled up and starting, and then the it just looks really horribly parted. I don't know why. So just do your part. If you want to do a middle part, just do it first. Make sure it's nice and clean. Mine is zigzag because I don't give a damn. Um, but yes. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next section. And like I said before, I don't make this even at all because... You know, I don't want the curls to be super perfect and ain't nobody gonna see the parts because who's looking at my, you know, who's looking at the parts? Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna grab another section. It doesn't have to be too thin. Actually, this one, let me grab it up here and then just do this really quickly. There we go, nice and quick. And then, if I am not looking straight at you guys, I'm sorry. I'm looking at myself on the viewfinder of the camera because I have to see what I'm doing. You guys are my mirror, so just, you know, bear with your girl. So, yes, yeah, so you're going to go through with the brush. Make sure there's no knots. Start here and then just do one turn. And make sure that your, iron, your flat iron is facing um, down. That way you get that curl. If you leave it like this, if you do the full swoop, you'll get this tight guy. But if you face it down, you'll get more of a wave, like a wave curl. So cute, so cute, we're so cute. <laughs> anyway, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the middle section. And it's gonna be the same exact thing. You just feel with your hand where you don't have um, curls, so you know what to do and what not to do. There we go. Also, I wanted just to point out the fact that I switched my location really quickly, like where I normally do my setup to film. I don't know how I feel about it yet. If you guys like this little setup, let me know in the comments and I'll film here more. I don't know, I feel like I don't like this wall here, but whatever. If you guys like it, let me know, let me know. Give me feedback. Let your girl know what's up, not a shame. Again, just one loop and make sure that your 
iron is facing down. And there you go. Super cute, super loose. This side here is a little bit more strengthened because of this guy, but you know, you guys get the picture. You guys get the picture. I'm gonna come right back to show you guys how I do the front and the framing of the face and Yes. All right, so we're moving on to the uh, last part of the face or the last parts of the top of the hair. Um, so this is the last. This part I'm going to do in this same chunk just because I like the top ones to be more like, I, I don't know, I just like them bigger. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this section of hair and I'm going to go ahead and brush through it and I'm going to divide it maybe like in three sections. So this is going to be the, you know, that's not enough for three like this a section like this i'm gonna go in again and there it goes and then i'm gonna do the same thing with these and i'm gonna separate it in three Nice and loose, as you can see. And the last one. I don't like these to start up too high up on my face, so I'm gonna start them a little bit lower. There you go. Nice and loose. And then I just scratch it up a little bit just so it doesn't lose all the, you know, heat and whatnot. So yes, this is what this side is looking like already. Mind you, they're separated by section, so I have to go in with the comb and do the final raking just to separate them. But you can see the difference. You can see the difference. So we're gonna go ahead and do this side. So what I do here when I reach this part, I like to go in and par part this in half. This is sort of like half. And then I throw this part here really quickly just to sort of get, you know, this under part done first. Again, it is key for you to make sure that you don't have any knots, that your hair's not tangled. And we're gonna do this in three sections. Because my hair is getting so long, I actually like to do this style better because I don't like compromising my length. Um, so yes, now if you want your curls to last you a lot longer, I will tell you you're better off doing the tighter curls because these will fall off eventually. Like you can have these curls for up to two full days, I'll say. You can have these up to two full days um as if you add hairspray you can go longer but i don't like using hairspray on my hair at all so i don't do it but because i'm already gonna wash my hair tomorrow um i don't really have to worry about this style lasting me longer than you know tonight because i'm not really doing anything so yes this honestly can take you 10 minutes i'm gonna say 10 minutes because it normally doesn't take me longer than 10 minutes to do this in my hair. There we go. So now this is the final thing that I like to do. I like to go in with my favorite oil, which is this one right here. This one is the Aussie Miracle Curls Curl Defining Oil. And this one is the one that has coconut and jojoba oil or jojoba, whatever you want to call it. I'll put two pumps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mix that up. Put some on the scalp or like the top so it looks nice and shiny. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrunch the curls first. Just so that they look nice and shiny. Put some in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and do this because regardless of, I'm gonna go ahead and rake them. And then you just play with them. Like you can fix them up or you can do what I do and you can go in with your comb and do this. 
and it gives them like a really nice loose wave. I don't know what it is about having like these kind of curls, but they give me like goddess vibes. I don't know. I don't know why I feel like I feel like a goddess. I love the waves. I love the volume. I and mind you, you just transformed four day old hair that was limpy and dry and just brittle and not cute into, you know, a curl masterpiece. So yes and you can do so many different styles you can you know pin part of your hair back and leave the nice curls or the waves at the bottom you know you can do a lot of stuff you can switch it over to the side and just get this nice little you know side part moment like you have a lot of options once you do this style it just looks too good i don't know i love it i don't know about you guys what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the style what do you guys think about this video and if you guys want me to make more videos doing hair tutorials and little life hacks that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already we are on the road to 100k this year you guys are not ready for what's coming okay so go ahead and join the squad merch is coming soon also go ahead and add me on my social media platform i'm gonna be leaving my instagram handles and my other social media handles right here and i'm also gonna be leaving them linked down below let me know in the comments down below what other kind of videos you guys would like to see chat with me what do you guys think about this style do you guys like it do you guys you know just talk to me y'all just talk to me because i'm bored and i need i need my friends so yes anyway thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye